With the finger finished, I'm going to go into object mode and I'm going to toggle out a quad view. I'm going to zoom back with the mouse wheel and pan using shift middle mouse button. I'm going to drag with the middle mouse button just to put the view at a slight angle. I'm going to add mesh cube. I want to scale the cube in all directions except for Y, so I'm going to press S for scale, hold down shift and press Y and that will scale in all directions except for Y. I'm going to enter 4, 4 and enter. I'm going to select the finger. I'm going to go to the properties and set the Z or Z location to be 5 and the X location to be minus 1. I'm going to hold down shift and press D and enter to duplicate the finger and I'm going to set the X location of the duplicate to be 3 and enter Shift and middle mouse button to pan down. I'm going to go into edit mode to make one of the fingers slightly shorter. I'm going to press B for B select and select the tip of the finger. I'm going to drag the tip of the blue arrow and without releasing the mouse button I'm going to enter minus 0.5. I'm going to do B for B select and select the knuckle, include the knuckle this time, drag the tip of the blue arrow, again minus 0.5 and enter. Back into object mode, I'm going to duplicate Shift, D and Enter. Uh, the duplicate I'm going to put instead of at 3 at minus 3. Select the other finger, Shift, D and Enter. And this is at minus 1, I'm going to change that to plus 1. And I'm going to move two clicks to the right to put a little bit of space between the fingers, this time four clicks to the right and this finger two clicks to the left and this one four clicks to the left. I'm going to duplicate the finger to make the thumb. I'm going to toggle into quad view. I'm going to hold down shift and press D to duplicate and enter. I'm going to move the thumb in the Y direction by entering two in the Y location and I'm going to move the thumb down by entering 0 in the Z or Z location. And in the top view, I'm going to press R to rotate and enter 180 degrees. And enter. I'm going to add a cylinder to the base of the thumb. First of all, I'm going to hide the cube that forms the palm of the hand. I'm going to add mesh cylinder. In the front view, I'm going to press R to rotate and 90 and enter. In the right view I'm going to scale in all directions except for X so I'm going to press S to scale, hold down shift and press X and enter a value of 2. I'm going to move the cylinder I'm going to move it in the Y direction by entering 1 in the Y location. I'm going to enter minus 1 in the Z or Z location and I'm going to enter minus 3 in the X location but I'm going to add 0 0.04 because we nudged the finger over. I'm going to add a cylinder for the wrist. I'm going to move it down by entering minus 5 in the Z or Z location. I'm going to pan using shift and middle mouse button. Now I want to scale the cylinder in all directions except for the Z or Z direction so I'm going to press S for scale then I'm going to hold down shift and press Z or Z and I'm going to enter a value of 2.5 and I'm going to redisplay the cube that forms the palm. To shape the corners of the hand I need to add geometry so I'm going to go into edit mode and click loop cut and slide. When I come in from the side I get a horizontal loop cut. Click to slide, click to place. Loop cut and slide if I come in from the top I get a vertical loop cut. Click to slide, click to place. I want another vertical loop cut, click to slide, click to place. I'm dragging with the middle mouse button in the top right hand view and zooming in with the mouse. I'm going to go into vertex select mode, select a vertex, I'm going to turn the 3D manipulator widget off, hold down shift and select another vertex. In the mesh menu, vertices merge, notice the shortcut key is Alt and M, and merge at first. Select a vertex, hold down shift, select another vertex, Alt and M, and merge it first. 
select a vertex, hold down shift, select another vertex, alt and M, merge it first, select a vertex, hold down shift, select another vertex, alt and M, merge it first. To finish this basic and quick model, I'm going to go into object mode. I'm going to select all the mesh objects, select all by type mesh. I'm going to click join, but before you use join, always save, and after you've clicked join, save as so you don't overwrite the file. So I'm going to click join. I'm going to rename the single mesh object hand. I'm going to go to the material button and click on the diffuse color and change that to a yellowy orange and I'm going to click the smooth shading. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the finished file at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.